marine engineers and naval architects design, build, and maintain ships. In this video, we will go over what marine engineers and naval architects do, the job market for them, what kind of money they make, how they compare to the other engineering fields, and at the end of the video, we will cover the top five highest paying states for marine engineers and naval architects. Coming up. Hey everyone, Stephen Hack here with Career Watch, where we help you with your career search. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other general career information. And if you enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up to support this channel. Marine engineers and naval architects design, build, and maintain ships, including aircraft carriers, submarines, sailboats, and tankers. Marine engineers are responsible for a ship's propulsion, electrical, refrigeration, and steering systems. Marine engineers also design and maintain offshore oil rigs, offshore wind turbines, and hydroelectric power stations. Meanwhile, naval architects are responsible for the ship's design, including the form, structure, and stability of hulls. The Department of Labor doesn't break up naval architects and marine engineers into two different occupations. They collect data on them together. So all these charts I'm going to show you later in the video will average both of these occupations together. To become a marine engineer or naval architect, it is recommended to get at least a bachelor's degree. Based off of a 2017 Department of Labor survey, 76% of marine engineers and naval architects had a bachelor's degree or a master's degree. Meanwhile, 7% had a high school diploma or equivalent, 7% had some college, and about 8% had an associate's degree. Higher education is definitely recommended for these occupations, but some people seem to get in without it. So who do marine engineers and naval architects tend to work for? About 46% work for organizations involved in ship and boat building, 25% work in engineering services, 9% work for the federal government, 7% work in non-engineering professional services, and 4% work in transportation and warehousing. Of these different groups, transportation and warehousing tends to pay the most with the average national base salary of around 101,000 per year, federal government about 100, non-engineering professional services about 91, and engineering services around 86. Next, let's take a look at the national job market. The total number of employed marine engineers and naval architects has risen and fallen over the years. In 1999, the Department of Labor recorded 4,450 employed marine engineers and naval architects nationally. Marine engineers and naval architects were affected by the financial crisis, losing thousands of jobs from 2006 to 2011. Since 2011, the number of jobs has risen. In 2019, the Department of Labor recorded 11,360 jobs for marine engineers and naval architects, which is over double the number recorded in 1999. But keep in mind, this is a small occupation, especially compared to some of the other engineering fields. In fact, in 2019, this is the third smallest engineering field. Only agricultural and mining engineering are smaller in terms of number of jobs. The truth is this field is vastly smaller than the big three, civil, industrial, and mechanical engineering. Each of those has over 300,000 jobs versus the 11,360 jobs in this occupation. Because it is a small occupation, there are many states that have little to no employment opportunities. But there is some good news on the job front. The Department of Labor predicts the number of marine engineer and naval architect jobs to rise by 9% from 2018 to 2028. They think that the need for more environmentally friendly ships and systems will drive the need for more marine engineers and naval architects. Also, existing ships will need to be maintained and modified as they get older. Also, if governments and companies decide to invest in offshore wind turbines, this will require more marine engineers and naval architects. Next, let's take a look at what they tend to earn. In 1999, the average base salary for a marine engineer or naval architect was $58,580. By the year 2019, this average base salary had risen to $98,730. So wages rose by about $40,000 from 1999 to 2019. Here's how the pay breaks down in 2019. The starting salary of marine engineer and naval architects would be a little under $65,000 and up to around $75,000. That would be the 25th percentile. And this depends on the industry, the area of the country, and the experience level. So how much do the top 10% earn? The top 10% start at around 148,000 and go up from there. So how does the pay of marine engineers and naval architects stack up against some of the other engineering fields? 
Of the 16 engineering fields surveyed by the Department of Labor, marine engineers and naval architects are kind of in the middle of the pack. Of the 16 different engineering fields, marine engineers and naval architects are the eighth most lucrative, according to average base salary. Next, let's take a look at the highest paying states for marine engineers and naval architects. The average base salary is around 99,000 per year, but certain states pay much more than this. So let's take a look. Number five on the list is known as the Old Line State or the Free State or Oyster State. It is located in the Northeast Corridor. It is the state of Maryland where the average marine engineer or naval architect earns around 108,000 per year. Number four on the list is the Lone Star State. It is the state of Texas and the average marine engineer or naval architect earns around 108,000 per year here as well. Number three on the list is the Golden State, also known as the state of California, where the average local base salary is $111,350. Number two on the list is known as the Last Frontier or the Land of the Midnight Sun. It is the state of Alaska, where the average marine engineer or naval architect earns about $112,000 per year. And the highest paying state isn't actually a state at all. It is the nation's capital. Washington, D.C., where the average salary is around $116,000 per year. Those are the five highest paying states for marine engineers and naval architects in 2019. Are you a marine engineer or naval architect? Let me know in the comments below whether you enjoy the occupation or not. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.